Hi everyone, I'm Hui and in this video I'm going to go over some general benefits from using visual overviews. Visual overviews are powerful graphical layers for your system and provide you with another way to navigate across your infrastructure. Visual overviews are accessible at the top of the tree view for every view, element and service. Visual overviews are created uh, with uh, Microsoft Visual, so long story short, you can create any kind of graphical presentation using a powerful and familiar professional tool. This is the visual overview of our internal operations in our live demo system. You can drill down on the world map all the way down to its services and products. You can do the same for buildings and floor plans all the way down to the rack layout and so on. You can click any item in the surveyor to open the associated card and you can uh, then click on visual in the side panel to view the visual overview. You can open several visual overviews at the same time. Above you can find the path breadcrumb that immediately lets you see the parent items. Each item can have alarm severity colors. You can click on the arrow to immediately go to a subsite or double click on the combo box to open one immediately. You can enable or disable the breadcrumb in, uh, in the user settings if you want. There is a back button that lets you navigate back and a forward button too available behind the hamburger button. You can use uh, the alt key and then left and right uh, arrows to achieve the same thing. You can zoom in and out with a mouse wheel or simply use control and then plus and minus keys as long as you got the focus on the visual. Tab pages give you a different angle at the same content. In here we have data being received by satellite and fed into a media center in Amsterdam amongst other things. The tabs uh, on the top give you different outlooks at this infrastructure in terms of system overview, performance indicators and content management. But this obviously applies differently uh, in our situations. For example, you can have uh, a rack layout and a flow diagram and a map view on the same service or infrastructure if you want. Each sub page can also have sub tabs too. Here in Copenhagen, we're trying to quantify and measure service quality, mostly for TV, including even consumer endpoints through our experience and performance manager solution. On the KPIs page, there are further subtabs to display metrics based on network, broadband and TV service. Visual overview shapes can be linked to any sort of items in your data mining system. You can link them uh, to elements, services and views allowing for easy drill down into the system. This here is a flow diagram for a data uplink. We have metrics on an antenna control unit, uplink power control and a bunch of high power amplifiers down here. These toggles are actually linked to switches that you can rotate to change the flow of data and what's ultimately being uplinked. This is just one example as to what you can do with a shape link to an element, but there's just so much more. You can flip objects on an axis to set a parameter. Uh, certain shapes can be visible or hidden depending on uh, the values of specific parameters, you name it. Not only uh, can you link shapes to element services and views, but also to other general items like URLs. This is a playout service in Hong Kong, illustrating the integration of a Riedel smart panel to data miner, so that when you push a button or lever, data miner can execute commands or uh, complex workflows. As you can see, there are button shapes on the top right that takes you to the manufacturer website and other web pages of interest. By the same token, you can also link to executable or generic files as long as you have the appropriate Windows app to open it. You could, for example, open PDF files, uh, launch the command line, start a telnet session and that sort of stuff. By now, you probably noticed that uh, when everything's running fine, there will be a lot of green. Fortunately, you can tweak this uh, on your user settings to enable or disable coloring when severity is normal or undefined. 
It is possible to link shapes to data miner automation scripts, and this is where things get interesting. Since you can have automation scripts do pretty much anything you want, but now also at the click uh, of a button in your visual shape, allowing you to tap into some real power. This is a downlink flow diagram where data is being received by antenna dishes and passing through integrated receiving receiver decoders. Above we have some metrics on uh, the SLA and on the site status. This button up here will trigger uh, an automation script that will reset all the health counters. And as we can see, the availability percentage will be brought back uh, to 100% as long as the service is fully operational. Some automation scripts may even include interactive steps uh, and ask you to select and fill in fields. It really depends on what you make. It's uh, possible to have buttons perform uh, multiple sets simultaneously as well. So if we go back to our uplink service, we can see these buttons uh, that allows us to select which chain will, throw, uh, will flow through our backup route. When I click C to backup, we can see that several switches were rotated to accommodate the flow throughout the backup infrastructure. When I press switch back, every chain will go back to using their designated routes. You can include real-time video images captured at certain points in the system. This is a service I booked that Dataminer then automatically orchestrated to compress H.264 video and transport it from a source in New York to a destination in LA. We can see in the video thumbnails the video as it is passing by the products here in New York and then in LA after crossing the network. If you work with spectrum analyzers, you could include video thumbnails to show different uh, spectrum buffers uh, in real time too. Now, you can include graphs and charts to your visual overviews. Uh, this is the Data Miner Infrastructure Discovery and Provisioning app. This is an example of a bar chart showcasing the rack usage per location. This here is a line bar on a software versioning tab depicting how many of your products have been up to date and for how long. And this is just a couple of graph examples. You can also add stock graphs, pie charts, and more to your visuals. Now, these are merely a few of all the features that you can enjoy using visual overviews in your data miner system, but there is much more especially when combined with uh, your automation scripts like dragging and dropping products on a panel to reveal and list its details or even setting up connections uh, between your products. We have uh, more use cases waiting for you on our Open Dojo platform and for more uh, in-depth information on visual overviews check out our operator course there. Uh, don't forget to register on Dojo as well or subscribe here on YouTube. So this is all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one.